lovely so it's your girl Tia back and I'm doing a very quick not so quick tutorial so right now I have come to a very very interesting discovery thank you to Cricut and the contour contour feature that they have added my life has been completely changed as you guys can see here I have listed option A or option B now let me give you the details on why I now prefer option B this will make your life a lot easier if you have the patience and want to save the money. So, first thing is first, I have here option A is a unicorn dabbing SVG. Option B is a unicorn dabbing, I believe, uh, PNG. Yes, because it has no background. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click make it. And of course, we know with the SVG, it lovely break it down with all the unicorn fairy dust in the world so that we could put the project together. You see here is the gray parts and then you have the white parts and then you have etc etc etc. What is this part? I don't even know why that's separated onto a match. Maybe it's two different kinds of whites. Oh, it's not enough space on the first one, it thinks. So that's the black. This is more black. This is the gold pieces. Now let me tell you why I'm going through this. As you can see, this is supposed to be the unicorn's horn. And it's piece by piece by piece by piece that you would have to layer and put on your project yourself and try to figure out the best way to do it, etc. etc. Um, and it goes on like this is the tail, and then here is the hair. I believe that this is a part of the tail and this is a part of the hair and this is hair etc but they are all over the place there's a line of stuff you don't know you don't even know what it is so when it comes to projects like this that are extremely complicated and you want to have those separate pieces this may not be the best way to do it why do I say that it's because one we want to save time energy and money now it may be true that this way will take up more space on your sheets when you're printing it out and you guys will have a better understanding of that um, once we get deeper into the project but time is money and when you spend so much time on these projects and you go crazy some of us quit because it's just too much so I'm gonna go ahead and make option a small because I'm not a fan of option a and I'm going to show you guys why I have become a fan of option B so there's this feature on Cricut that I'm becoming fond of. Um, I don't know it 100%, but I'm getting to know it. So to be honest, there's this little thing on here. If you can see this gray line and this gray line on the unicorn right here, I don't really care about that. That I'm not going to add. What I want to see is how many colors do I need for my unicorn. I want to make this simple for project purposes, so I'm going to do all of her hair pink. Oh, Isabel's awake. I'm going to do all of her hair pink. Her hoofs, I'm going to make gold. Uh, her unicorn crown, of course, her horn is going to be gold and her body's going to be white, and I'm going to have the black outlining. So that's pink, gold, white, black. Pink, gold, white, black. I think I only need four colors. Pink, gold, white, black. Yep. So, I am going to make pink or white black. I'm going to make four of these. I'm going to duplicate it. So, that's one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to align it in the center. And when I do that, all four of these are lined up. Why is it only showing me three? Oh, there's one. Move. I wish I could move this one to the top. Anyhow, so I guess I'll just start with this one. Start with the first layer. Now with the first layer, I'm going to make absolutely black. And the way that I'm going to do that is, sorry if you guys hear my daughter in the background, but my husband just went to go tend to her. I'm going to hide all contour. It's going to make everything black. And now you have this fully black unicorn. Next, we're going to go to our next level. And that 
basically is our black outlining that you see and um, anything else is black like the nose, the nostrils, etc. That's why we have this first black layer. And when I print it out, it's going to print just like that, a whole full black uniform. Next, we're going to do her hair. So I'm going to click the next layer. It's just one. Click contour. And I am going to click hide all and just handle her hair. In her tail. But I am going to take off this main part. So all I want is her hair and her tail. And when I exit, that should all be here. And I'm going to color that just one pink. I'll save this pink. And I'm going to actually hide. Now I'll leave that there. Then I'm going to do the next layer. I'm going to go ahead and make it white. So <clears throat> when we come back, it'll just be white. Now with this layer, I am going to leave the body innocent. So we're going to go to contour. Hide all contour. And I'm going to select the face. Alright, the face, the body, and the arm. And when I come back, that should be all that's selected. Perfect. And I think you guys are getting the idea of where we're going with this. I'm actually going to go back because the ear is white and I don't want that white. I actually want that to be pink. I'm going to go back. I'm going to click the ear. And that should be all black now until I go back to the pink. And I select the ear as well. I thought I made this whole thing. No, I didn't do that. Either. Boom. Now for the gold parts of her. I think that's all that's left. I'm going to click contour and I'm going to click hide all. I want to go ahead and click everything that I will want to be gold or hoops. And I actually did a shirt with this. Um, I actually had it very colorful but um, for this, I want to make simple and I'm going to put the picture of the shirt at the end of the video. I'm going to select that so that the whole body is not that color. And you'll see everything that I want it to be gold and I'm just going to make it this yellow to symbolize for gold. And her nostrils on the white. I did not contour out so I'm going to go back. You guys will learn how to just play with this. There should be no white here. Should just be black straight through. And when you look at this, compared to that, that's a big difference, right? What I'm gonna do now is this whole SVG. I'm gonna click attach. It's gonna change one color because it's all attached. Cricut does that for some reason. And where it is attached, I'm going to click hide because I don't want that to show. I'm going to save this as unicorn tutorial purposes. So what option B here? And the reason why I did this is because for some reason the Cricut system 
struggles to do what I am asking it to do despite the new updates. So don't think it's you ladies, it's really not. So I clicked update and this is how it will print out. We got our four colors, right? When you print this out, when you weed it out, all you have to do is layer it on top of this black. Literally take it off, put it on top. It's not 15 million pieces spread across the board that you have to figure out. Same thing for the gold. Everything that's gold, you just go ahead and put it right on top. So first you'll put your black, then you'll put your white layer on top. You'll go ahead and you'll add your gold on top of that and you'll add your pink. And everything is in place as it should be. You literally take it off after you weed it off and put it right on top of your project. I find that so much easier than using the SVG. It makes no sense. Literally. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I'm actually going to be posting this video and doing another example just in case this one was a bit too complicated or had too much going on or too simple for you. Uh, you'll be able to choose if the next one helps you any better. So uh, that's pretty much it for this. I will show you guys the image afterwards. If you guys need to see me actually print it out so you get a better understanding, let me know. If I have enough requests, I'll go ahead and do it, you know, and that's it. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any requests for any other Cricut videos, please let me know. Also, I have the opportunity to do classes or phone calls with you guys if anybody need help um, for hourly help. So please take advantage of those opportunities. Thank you so much and talk to you guys later. Bye.